This video is an exploration of the topic Proving Trigonometric Identities Problem Type 3. For these types of problems, it will be useful to have your list of trigonometric identities handy. Proving trigonometric identity problems are all about substituting known identities, as shown in the table, into one side of the equation to transform it to the other side of the equation. Let's look at this example. Our goal is to transform the left side to be the same as the right. This problem seems really complicated at first glance, but let's treat this as if we were adding two fractions with numbers. What do you think our first step would be? I think that we need to combine the two fractions. To do this, we probably need to find a common denominator, just like adding regular fractions. Yes, exactly. Let's see how we would do this. In this case, the common denominator would be cosine of x times 1 plus sine of x. In order to combine these fractions, we need to multiply the first fraction by 1 plus sine of x over 1 plus sine of x, and the second fraction by cosine of x over cosine of x. This will cause the two fractions on the left side of our problem to have the same denominator so that we can add them. We know that this is a valid step since 1 plus sine of x over 1 plus sine of x and cosine of x over cosine of x are both equal to 1, and multiplying any number by 1 maintains the value of that number. Now we must simplify. Do you want to walk me through this step? Sure. We will use the distributive property for both numerators to get 1 plus 2 sine x plus sine squared x over cosine x times 1 plus sine x plus cosine squared x over cosine x times 1 plus sine x. That's exactly right. Now that we have two fractions that have the same denominator, we can combine the two into one fraction. Our resulting fraction is now 1 plus 2 sine of x plus sine squared of x plus cosine squared of x over cosine of x times 1 plus sine of x. What do you think is next? I'm guessing we use a trigonometric identity. Would sine squared x plus cosine squared x equal 1 work? Yes, using that trigonometric identity, we can plug 1 in for the boxed area. The fraction then simplifies to 2 plus 2 sine of x over cosine of x times 1 plus sine of x. If we factor out a 2 from the numerator, we can cancel the term 1 plus sine of x from both the numerator and the denominator. What do you think is the next step? Oh, okay. We know from the reciprocal identities that secant of x equals 1 over cosine x, so we can do that substitution and get 2 secant x. That's right. This confirms that the original equation is true. With more practice, this tricky topic will become easier. You will need to use a combination of the algebra that you have learned and trigonometric identities to manipulate the equations. Soon it will become second nature.